Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you're here. We have new things to try. As I've gotten much more comfortable on the camera, you're getting to see how weird I am. I don't know what's wrong with my lighting, but it's a thing and it's happening and I've done the best that I can, so we're going to move on. We have the new Laura Lee brushes and I am so excited about it. So what we're going to do, because I haven't done my makeup yet for the day, we are going to do my makeup using the Laura Lee brushes and I cannot wait to see how they perform. I will admit I have very high expectations of these brushes and that is for the sole reason that this is an influencer's brand who reviews a bunch of makeup and products. So I have pretty high expectations. However, I have no doubt that these will be beautiful. I literally just opened them, so let's take them all out of the packaging. I really enjoyed this bag. I think it's it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a good quality. I can tell that I can wipe it down, which is wonderful. I think that sometimes I get makeup brushes and I get really nervous. Oh, wow. So this is the Kabuki this is the Kabuki brush or Kabuki style brush. This is the L11. I got the entire brush collection. This feels so beautiful. I love using Kabuki brushes for foundation and things, so that's what we're gonna use it for, but I I love her. Just the end. Alright, so I'm just going to take these out of the packaging. They are individually wrapped, which I am not upset about. So it looks like we have a good mixture of brush, of face brushes and eye brushes. This one um, confuses me a little bit, but I'll figure it out. These are already getting dirty because they're rolling around on my desk, which has sprinkle bits. <laughs> all over it from my look that I did on Instagram. But, so we have the Kabuki brush. I'll go through the face brushes first. I'm thinking this is like a highlighter brush. This is the L15. Very, um, I, I wanna say flimsy, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, and then we have, oh, that's interesting. We have um, the L13, which is kind of like a duo fiber. That's interesting. Don't know what I would use that for. This one I'm very excited about. So this is the L14. It's kind of more of the taper, not tapered, but slanted. I don't know what the actual term is. This will be good for blush. And then the actual tapered brush, um, the L12, I will honestly use for highlighter, but I like obnoxious highlighter brushes. On to the eyes. I got this entire collection for $45, which I think is amazing because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 brushes in a bag, and I think that's great. So this is, these are all the eye brushes. I think I'm probably gonna use this one the most because it looks like it's a good blender. But they're all differently shaped blenders, which is interesting to me, and this one is very intriguing to me. It's just kind of a nice little detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face real quick, and then we'll throw on some of my complexion. I just put on the Elf Luminous Putty Primer that's been like my go-to lately. And we're gonna try some foundation. So what I'm going to do um, is just pop this right on the brush itself. That's something that I like to do from time to time. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in 405. So I'm just gonna whoop right on the brush. I wanna see how the brush absorbs a product. And honestly, this is one, oh, this is so nice. Oh, wow, this is so nice. I just shaved my face, so. Wow, that's incredible. So the brush really did not absorb a ton of the product. That's the most I've been able to get coverage-wise with one pump of this. I, I generally need two pumps at least of this foundation, and the reason for that is my redness. So I don't even think, I think two pumps might even be a little too much now. I can definitely tell that this brush is not absorbing the product nearly as much. Wow, that's amazing. This is such a nice brush. Like, I thought the Morphe brushes were super good, and they are, but this is amazing. You're going to see some of my imperfections through the foundation, and honestly, it is 6.30 on a Saturday night, and I'm about to go make dinner. 
So like I'm not that mad about it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes just a little bit with my Maybelline Age Rewind. I don't like to use a lot and I only put, I do the little TikTok hack. I think it's TikTok, I'm not sure. But for this, I'm going to start using the Kabuki brush and then go in with the L12 to really set it into place. So I'm stippling this on just to make sure I don't remove any of the foundation that I just put on. Holy crap. Like seriously, what the heck? Um, I, if nothing else, this Kabuki brush is amazing. So I look a little scary. I'm gonna go powder and bronze real quick and we'll be back for blush and highlighter with the brushes. Also, every time I edit, I like get mad at myself because I know I'm looking up in a lot of my videos. My monitor is above the camera. So I just like to try and check and make sure I'm in focus sometimes. And it's really annoying. I know it's annoying for me to edit, so it's gotta be annoying for you to see, so I'm working on it. So I don't know if it's anything to do with the brushes or the concoction of products I use, but holy Toledo, my face looks good. Mm, I am feeling myself. Okay, so on to the blush. I should have taken a picture of the brushes before I destroyed them, but maybe it'll make a better experience for the thumbnail if I don't. I am so close to hitting pan on this blush. I might do it now. Let's find out. So I'm going to take the L14. I didn't hit pan. On my Why Hello blush from ColourPop. I love this blush. I am so darn close to hitting pan on it. I can feel it. It's going to happen this week. Oh my goodness gracious. This is exciting. Okay, so I love, I don't even know, I think it's in my needs to be cleaned box. I have like a box under my desk where I throw brushes in that need to be cleaned. But I have this brush from, it's the Ulta and Black Widow blush brush. And it's shaped like this. And I don't think I'll ever use another kind of brush for my blush ever again because it ugh, it just makes it so easy. This is nice. It's a little, um, again, I keep wanting to say the word flimsy, but that's not the case because they're very sturdy brushes. It's not stiff. <laughs> I don't know what how else to say it. My brain's not working. But So that part of it I'm not a huge fan of. But overall, it's a really nice blush brush, and I really, really enjoy it. All right, so I'm still working on my ColourPop palette here, so I'm going to go in with Padded Down for a highlighter. I should have used my Laura Lee stuff, but I didn't get it out. And I'm going to use the L15 for a highlight, which I believe was the purpose of this brush. So nice. This is a nice highlighter brush. I enjoy this. I feel like it... This is, again, on the flimsy side. I, I don't know. I'm not saying it as it's a negative thing. But this, I enjoy. I, I don't like a super stiff highlighting brush. This is, like, a nice, that, that's a good, that's a super good thing. I'm not finding my words well, so hopefully you're enjoying this review because it's entertaining. So as part of the pan project that I'm working through with Instagram, again, I'm going to do a video relatively soon I'm pretty I'm filmed pretty far out so it might have to be like an off schedule video but I've been really working through my modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills it's been something that I really want to try and get use out of if not just hit pan on so I'm going to go ahead and do a different look with this than I usually do but I'm really trying to use these two shimmers as much as I can so we're gonna stay with the Vermeer for my shimmer but I think I want to do more of a, a cranberry purple look so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with raw sienna and tempera to get my crease started then I'm going to build that up with Bon Fresco Antique Bronze, maybe a little Venetian Red, and then pop on Vermeer on the lid. It sounds like a lot, but I probably won't use all of those. I'm going to scooch in and play some nice music, and let's get to the eyes. Hi. Okay, so for the eyes, before I start the music, I'm going to stick with the L17, 18, and 19 brushes. And again, I'm going to go in with the shades that I just mentioned. 
my lighting's gonna be super weird now because I'm all scrunched in, but we're all learning here on this channel. Alright guys, so I did the rest of my makeup off camera, I lined, did my lashes, so I used my NYX Epic Ink Liner, my L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara, and then for lips, I actually tried something different and I'm not hating it. I used my KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 2.5, my Maybelline Lipstick in Daringly Nude, and a Morphe Lip Gloss in Flower Crown. I really, really enjoy this lip, it looks really cool. Final thoughts. Laura Lee, where have these brushes been all of my life? Holy cow, guys. So I really, I try to use as many brushes as I can, but I don't actually use as many brushes as you would think when I do my everyday makeup. Um, the Kabuki brush is a forever my go-to brush for foundation moving forward. So when she restocks that, I might actually buy a backup. I really enjoyed the L16 and the L18 the best for the eye brushes. I feel like the L18 was a great blender. I feel like I used that the most when I was doing my eyeshadow. I tried to use her flat paddle brush, the L17, for the shimmer shade. I just love using my finger for that. So I'm really curious to try and clean this and use it to cut crease. I think that's what this would be amazing for. It's a perfect size. The blush brush I used, the L14, was great. It really got the product exactly where I needed it, which was fantastic. The highlighting brush, the L15 that I used, was perfect. That might actually be my new go-to for highlight, which is exciting. So all in all, this was absolutely 100% worth the price. I really have not been spending money on makeup. So this kind of gave me an opportunity to really splurge because I consider $45 for a brush set incredibly reasonable if it's worth it. I think brush sets overall can be really overpriced, but this one's right on the money. I would have spent 60 bucks for this brush set. It's so good. I think I could put all of this in my bag and travel and be good. So I actually think $45 for this set is unbelievable and when it comes back on, I might actually get another one, like I said, because it's these brushes are amazing. So. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to do a ton of reviews moving forward because I'm going to really start to try and work through my collection. But coming up this week, I have some really fun videos and I'm really hopeful that you enjoy it. I will see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and thanks for watching.